this was, bro. Again, I'm gonna hold off on the blaster for as long as I can until I feel I need to use it. Alright, these guys got the Pyrox in there, really. I mean, it's just a larger version of it. But they're still just as easy as every other enemy we've come against so far. Just gotta stay a little bit further away from them. Just time the plane. You know what was a godsend in the second and third games was the targeting. Just targeting was just so much better since there is no target lock really in this game except for like the missiles. So you can only do the target lock if you go in first person. So you can't move in first person, so it kind of keeps you further. You have to be sitting there trying to target lock something and then just get hit. So you kind of like guesstimate where to land things in this game. And it's a big problem with the blaster because the blaster is like a homing trail, but only when it's locked on. And you lose the lock on with it so often that it's kind of useless after a little bit. Alright, uh, let's go this way since we have the swing shot. Might as well just use it. I really thought it would have gotten it. <laughs> Put a little too much faith in the swing shot. Oh, what? Huh. Okay. <laughs> Just putting explosive boxes over pits where you'll sink. Makes sense. Okay. There we go. I think mean, I just gotta make sure that the swing shot is out before you make those jumps. You can use the right analog stick to control the camera. Oh, thanks for telling me that now. <laughs> I'm already on I'm, this is my third you world can, that I've been on and you're just telling me how to use the camera. Just select the camera from the options menu. Oh my god. That wasn't smart of me. Oh, and this is the only really big problem with this game. The checkpoints. They're really scarce. They only go back to a certain area, like the main area of any given place. Like, and it's kind of annoying. Like, now I have to do all of this again. I mean, this kind of area where there's no enemies, it's not that big of a hassle, but in later parts, if you die, you gotta kill every enemy again, just because you made one more mistake, but, yeah. You know. Old games like this are bound to have problems like that. I mean, I guess, I don't know how much of a change they could really make it in just an HD remake, I mean, I don't think they really had the ability to change things that were, you know, really implemented in the game itself. They pretty much just change the graphics. And that's it. I mean, they can't really change anything else about it. Or else it kind of loses its essence when another studio starts messing with it. Alright, I'm gonna try. I don't know how I'm gonna succeed without this, but... Alright, can I do it? Ah, oh, I think I landed. Ah, oh, I probably did. Yep, I did. Yeah, I landed. There's a skill point for uh, getting through this entire area without touching the ground. And I think um, one of those platforms I do touch the ground. I don't think I can restart it. But I'm gonna try. <laughs> I kinda want that skill point since it's the only real skill point I, I know in this game that I can get easily. You landed again, really? Okay, whatever. Skill points aren't even that important. It's just for cheats and stuff. So, let's just get the grass faster. Using the latest in precision laser technology, the Gadgetron Trespasser is guaranteed to work on Gadgetron's line of Invinso lock security doors. So wait, they made 
a device to get through their own locks. The Gadgetron Trespasser to get through Gadgetron locks. They're just getting money from both sides. <sighs> like, people buy the lock, and then people buy the Trespasser to get through the own lock. Lasers are mounted on get through their own lock. The Jesus. Pretty funny. Any lasers at the receptors on the outside room to turn them green. That's what I'm doing. Yeah. All receptors well, must be green before being Okay, invincible. there we go. <laughs> A little confused at first. I know they get really hard later on, those are uh, trespasser locks, but we'll see with that when we get there. I don't think I need it anymore. It's just like the bomb glove. Now we're back where we started. Uh, yeah, we can just go left when we get over here. I mean, go, yeah, go left here. <laughs> Huh, I can't use it. into that tower. Ooh. Yep, that worked. I wonder if we can get 10,000 by the time we leave this planet. Okay, camera. Getting stuck on the elevator. Oh, see sand sharks. Better just preemptively just try to toss in the bomb. That guy just hurt himself. I wonder if he'll actually kill himself. Okay, he's not going to. That would have been hilarious if he did, but he didn't. Uh, let's just go in a row. And then we'll head back the other way once they all explode. Alright, so I guess this is just a path for extra bolts. We're already almost at 10,000, so making good money. Stupid Shan. Shan Shan? I don't know what that was. I don't know what I'm talking about. God. Oh, no. Nope, nope. <laughs> that would have been bad. Oh, oh come on, seriously? <laughs> what are they doing? I don't know how I almost managed to fall off that many times. I think the agent is right around here. There's some ammo over there, but probably don't need it. Yep, here he is. No signal whatsoever! This downtime is killing me! Do you need medical attention, sir? Don't be so literal, son. The problem is I'm stranded on this backwater planet and my star client is nowhere to be found. Hey, we saw you on that info bot. You're Skid's agent. Was Skid's agent. I haven't seen him since our ship crashed. And an agent without a client is like a flea without a dog. Say, you look like an athletic kid. If you can bring back the championship prize from the hoverboard races in Blackwater City, I'll make you my next star. We have no time for trivial matters, sir. Hmm. I could be the next Skid McMarks. All right, so that's the goal. Um, and we'll go and win that race when the time comes. But let's go back to our ship. Alright, we're pretty much on the hour mark for my recording, so 
I think that's a good place to end it here. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this these parts of Ratchet and Clank, and stay tuned for more. If you like these, then leave a comment saying it, whatever you want. <laughs> I don't know. If you disliked it, whatever. I don't even know what I'm talking about anymore. Thanks for watching. See you guys next time. <laughs> Bye.